Good afternoon, everyone. This is going to be a weather brief for the upcoming strong storm system that's going to be pushing through the area uh, over the next uh, couple of days. Um, going to continue the windy conditions across uh, our area through this afternoon and tonight out ahead of the system. And we'll see a few strong to possibly severe storms starting late tonight, overnight, and continue into uh, during the day through Wednesday. In addition to the strong to severe potential, we have a risk of localized uh, heavy rainfall and uh, the potential for some flooding. This afternoon, we're looking at wind gusts in the eastern Ozarks from 25 to 30 miles per hour. Uh, over towards Springfield, uh, 30 to 35, and uh, really gusting pretty significantly of 35 to possibly 40 miles per hour over toward Joplin and Pittsburgh. Here's a timeline of the overall thunderstorm and severity as we head into late tonight. Uh, starting in the west over toward uh, Pittsburgh, Joplin, and Nevada, you can see that it's going to start after midnight with the strongest to severe weather between midnight and around 6 a.m. and then uh, tapering off a little bit. And uh, as we get the front coming through, we could see a little uptick in the thunderstorm activity, but uh, the severe weather should be east of there by then. Uh, same issue with uh, Cassville and Neosho and Anderson out west, the same time frame from midnight till about 6 a.m. for the worst of the weather. Uh, as it gets uh, into the Springfield, Ozark, and Branson areas, it'll start a little bit later, uh, more likely from 3 a.m. through 9 a.m. for the, the strongest storms. And then uh, an uptick with the front as you head into the late afternoon, but probably not severe with, with that round. Uh, Lebanon, Osage Beach, and Rolla, it looks like the strongest storms will be from 6 a.m. to about noon. And as you head further east in the eastern Ozarks, Houston, West Plains, and Eminence will be from about 9 a.m into the mid-afternoon hours with uh, some thunderstorms continuing a little bit past 6, maybe up to 7, 30, 8 o'clock, but the severe weather should have pushed east of there by then. Here's a severe weather outlook for tonight. Uh, as you can see, the slight risk is in western Missouri and southeast Kansas covering Nevada, Pittsburgh, Joplin, and Anderson with a marginal risk in the Springfield up to the Osage Beach area. Now in this uh, slight risk area, we do have a, an isolated tornado possible, uh, but our, our main concern is going to be with damaging winds in excess of 60 miles per hour as a uh, line of thunderstorms starts to move in. There is a low end chance of some hail to the size of quarters as well. And as that pushes east on Wednesday, you can see uh, the stronger storms are going to be further to the southeast, uh, southeast of a uh, Rala to Branson line as you head into the midday with a little bit more instability into the afternoon. And you can see even further to the southeast and southeast Missouri in the Boot Heel region into the Tennessee Valley that they even have an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms. Rainfall amounts, so uh, we're looking at showers and thunderstorms uh, pretty good, an uh, inch to inch and a half amounts over over most of the area and with uh, parts of the eastern Ozarks receiving up to around two inches. Now this could cause some localized flooding to occur, uh, especially in repeat areas of thunderstorms over uh, low-lying areas and favored favored uh, low water crossings that tend to flood most of the time with heavy rain. Here is a radar simulation.
from one of our models showing the thunderstorms pushing across the Missouri Ozarks and southeast Kansas. And most of that is out ahead of the cold front. And this secondary area is actually going to be along the front with that second round. But the most intense thunderstorms are going to be out ahead of that cold front as you head through the overnight hours and into the afternoon hours on Wednesday.